Hi, I'm Ty Dandridge-Avancio. I'm the Curator, Programs Coordinator, and Events Coordinator here at Pemina Hills Arts Council. Uh, what we're currently here for today is the, uh, I guess, first ever annual Pride exhibition uh, featuring artists in and around the Pemina Valley region, um, including myself. I've been just having a blast being able to offer new and exciting programs and being able to establish a relationship with uh, Pemina Valley Pride, um, offering uh, bi-monthly uh, board game nights, and also to uh, uh, finally be able to do this, uh, which is uh, the, the Pride art exhibition. I've been an artist ever since I could draw. Like It's my passion. My piece back here, I, I love it. I did it to support the, the Pride exhibition. Lots of glitter. <laughs> and uh, I just love that it, Pride, to me, um, symbol, symbolizes anybody who's different. Um, which I can relate to. And you don't fit into that cookie cutter, you know, square box. Who cares? You're more, you're more interesting if you don't, in my opinion. When they're walking in, they're so talkative, and they're, so, they're socializing with each other, they're so talkative, they get through the gift shop, they come through here and they get quiet, and they look, and they think, and I just love that silence that I hear, you know, because it's just like it's hitting them, you know? It's hitting them either mentally, it's emotionally, it's hitting them, and I love that people are really coming in here, they're looking at this artwork, it's touching base with them and they're going home and they might be thinking differently. They're taking this with them when they leave. And I absolutely love that, um, that this artwork can do that for people. I'm Carla Dick, I'm the Administrative Coordinator at the Pemina Hills Arts Council. My pronouns are she, her, and I am also the proud mom of two um, adult kids who are part of the 2S LGBTQIANB community. I'm a writer more than a visual artist, so I wrote a poem um, just kind of exploring the idea of gender and, and gendered expectations. So as my kids have sort of deepened their understanding of who they are, I have also grown in my understanding of who I am and explored what, what really is a woman, what are the expectations that society puts on people. Um, one of my daughters is tran a trans woman, and so there's sometimes this expectation that for trans people that they, they check all these boxes, that they look a certain way and act a certain way before they can be included in womanhood, right? Like they have to sort of prove themselves as women before they can be included, and so it's really challenged me to explore the assumptions that I've kind of inherited through society and through the messages that I've learned and uh, realize that, that anybody can be a woman. And my other daughter is bi, and so I've also kind of explored just the idea of, does a woman need a man to complete her, right? Is woman, a woman only half of an equation um, and needs you know, their knight in shining armor to kind of complete who they are. And then me as you know, a 50-year-old woman, also exploring what that means as I'm maybe giving up some of the beauty myths that I've learned when I was younger. And so that's sort of what my poem is about and uh, what has, yeah, just sort of inspired me lately. In terms of uh, an art show like this, a big piece that comes to mind for me is the whole idea of visibility. We, we you know, people say, well, you know, this is all new stuff. No, no, we've been around forever. We've always been a part of communities and society and so on, but in many cases, we had to be invisible. And a show like this, makes the community visible. And I'm, that's a big piece of what Pride, I think, is about, is visibility. I mean, at times it's been a protest, protesting that, yes, we are here, we are visible. Um, other, other times it's been a celebration, we're here, we're visible, and we can see each other. And a show like this is an opportunity to do just that, um, for rainbow community artists to, to showcase their art, their talent, and to be seen, uh, and to be seen as artists and as members of the rainbow community. And so, it's a great opportunity to see the rainbow community, particularly as we head into Pride Month, you know, which is coming up very soon. We're a part of this community. We're a part of the wonderful diversity that is the Pemina Valley, and that diversity is just increasing, and that's a wonderful thing. I, just, I look forward to seeing that proud uh, expression on their face when they see their artwork on the wall and people are like, yep, yeah, we really want to display your artwork. There it is. You know, yeah, that's, that's for you. <laughs>